an earthquake. And many people have felt the earthquake. I wanted to point out the importance of this river being crossed twice by two different pipelines. And so we want to get that word out to people because there are still people in Charleston and Washington and wherever that don't know what's going on with the pipelines. And I think this will bring attention to it. And hopefully next year we can do something like have a concert or something if we can just keep this double crossed idea going on. Do you all think that's a good yeah. idea? Good idea. Good idea. We're going to have one on the 7th of October. I know. Maury more, more just talked about it. Right, but talking about the double crossed idea I think helps people go, what do they mean? What is double cross? So, this is what double cross is. Now, Ashby has to leave. You want to say a few words to us about what's going on? I just want to thank everybody for coming. Um, I had a, another engagement that I have to go to, and it's part business and part social. But at any rate, I, I really appreciate all of your support. Um, I want to make two comments. Uh, num number one, we're not through fighting, and everybody's saying to me every time I meet them, oh, well, uh, did you see those pipelines? I almost got put in jail the other day because they had a park down there across from the post office, and I went downtown and got some white enamel, and I was going to spray no pipeline on it. <laughs> and they moved it, so <laughs> thank God I didn't go to jail. <laughs> but at any rate, thank you for coming, and uh, just keep on. You can have, you don't have to contact me, you're welcome to come here and demonstrate, have a bonfire, do whatever you want to do, put up a tent and, and anything, because even if I did not, my owning this land does not have anything to do with my opposing the pipe, pipeline. Uh, I'd fight just as hard if it was coming through West Virginia, uh, if it didn't even come near me. I care just as much about Greenbrier, Pocahontas, Monroe. Yeah, this, this pipeline don't seem to hit us at all, though. Do what? This pipeline don't seem to hit us at all. Though. No, absolutely not. Two. Oh no, reverse. This this river twice. It said, it said 600 streams. 600 streams. 631 And then I want to move on to 1109. Okay. I want to move on right quick to tell you, and so you'll be told again, and I hope three or four more times. Uh, collectively, all of us, not just Summers County. Uh, we're having a fundraiser at the 4-H camp, uh, it's a Summers County one, down Camp Summers, on uh, the 7th of October from 12 until 5, and the purpose of the fundraiser is to raise funds for the legal, legal funds to fight to pay the attorneys, to, because now it's going to be decided in the courts. Pretty much that's where, where it's going to go. Well, it is going to go there. And so far, we've been very lucky with the, le the legal approach. Thank God we, we have been. But, but please try to come. And what date's that? The, the 7th of uh, October. October. Okay. Because we wanted to get there before it got too cold. We had it planned two times this summer, but everybody was too busy. One time was during a fair. and then that where they have the Christian camp? 4-H camp. 4-H camp. Yes. It's uh, right off Route 12, so this, like you're going to Princeton. Uh, you know, out by back, just back this side of Forest Hill. Forest Hill area. So please come if you can. It's the first time we've ever been sponsored by I've like, been 18 <laughs> nonprofits, including a lot of local ones, including uh, Chesapeake Climate Action Network, which is a major eastern uh, nonprofit. Appalachian Voices and the National Wilderness Society has joined in, and they'll be pushing it nationally. Nineteen people from there were arrested yesterday. Yeah, Richmond, was it? that's a DEQ uh, office in Richmond. The CCAN had uh, Chesapeake Climate Action Network organized some protests. And uh, 19 people in Richmond got arrested. They refused to not block the doors of DEQ. There was, there was problems at the uh, one in Roanoke. There was about 60 people showed up there two different days. Uh, Southwest Virginia, Norfolk, so there's uh, not up in D.C. area, so these, the Virginia people really, and some West Virginia people showed up too, and 
did a really good job of telling DE, Virginia DEQ, don't make the mistake that West Virginia DEP did. Do your job. If they do their job, they're not building this. They're not gonna, if they do their job, they will either do it or we'll have a court make them do it, I hope. So that's why we need these legal funds. And we need to keep united because, like I said before, if I talk to five people, they all, nearly 90% of them say, oh, well, oh, they're going to go th through there. Did, haven't you read the papers or whatever? Is that still going on? Yeah, it's still going on. They think just because some announcements have been made that we've lost the fight. So you got to keep pushing. Got to keep That's pushing. I thought we lost the fight because all I see is all this pipe. This pipe is, this pipe is stacked up in Bradley miles and miles. Up. Well, it, it, we, it helps to make it real if we get more pictures of that because that's true mm -hmm. all around the state. And that, but mm -hmm. we don't have many pictures and we thought this is real, but it's not a done deal. Right. And we do oh, something yeah. that shows that's like, true. yes, this is happening, but it doesn't have to happen. Mm -hmm. Like but they're moving in the house before that right. there's a closing on the same. They, they, and they have, it looks like me, they're going to have to pay, pay a lot of pipe back out. Yeah. Well, there's... Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's, yeah. there's... That's supposed to be U.S. steel, too. No, oh. it's all... It's probably from it, China. It all says, they got a picture. India. They got a picture of it. Yeah. Made in India. Product Made of in, India. Well, at any rate, we, we're pretty 90% sure that not just the big uh, areas, but the huge amounts of pipe are, but three pipe on a flat bed down in front of the post office, and we checked around other places, and we think that's just a PR thing they're doing, so that uh, to convince everybody that it's coming through and that the battle is over, it's because they fight really underhanded. Like and I yeah, think it's like a PR warfare. thing that it's they're doing. Like Move it. Like what would they do with three pieces of pipe? In but it's right down there, right now. Oh, well, no, they, left last week. Uh, there was a. Well, where did the pipe go? Because the truck sat there for one. It's a, it's a forty one for a well, week a 50, after they took the uh, pipe disappeared off the truck. Right of way with Bradley. So they can go under there when they want to. They're looking one, for places to rent there, here. One They're one looking in Virginia. To, to, they right. rejected them in. That's one you see on the tractor I'm sure y'all seen. I know that's right, but <laughs> they have a fifty foot right of way. They could come back. So one pipe not would not be the end of it. Because I'll guarantee you, the Mountain Valley Pipeline will sell or give away that right uh, on that uh, on that pipeline, and um, so that any other utility wants to come through there, they can yeah. come through on that same line. They'll just have to pay Mountain Valley instead of paying us. And Ashby, isn't it built into the contract for the easement that they can put another pipeline yes. right next to that well, first yes. pipeline? Well, yeah. Well, well, the yeah, one, the easement that the company is asking people to sign. I didn't, I didn't read that. The, the contract that the, that the company wants you to sign gives them the right to put the second pipeline to come in and do anything they basically don't want to do. If FERC gives them a certificate, all they give them a certificate for is one pipeline. Mm -hmm. So the people who haven't signed and then taken them into domain, mm -hmm. they only have to sell for one pipeline. Uh -huh. And all this other stuff that they want to, all this cherry, Dressing Christmas tree directors that's in their company. Yeah. If you sign theirs, then they basically can do anything they want to do. It's like signing away that's why, rights. even if you want the pipeline or think it's a good deal, you need to have an attorney make sure that you don't give away the farm. Literally. Literally. Right. But you see, if they come through here, they're going to cut off our riverfront. If they go through the Wiseman's over there, they're taking every bit of her riverfront. Yep. Every bit of it. And she asked them how should we get to the other side of her property. So it'll be two triangles. They said, well, you can go up and go down the CNO right of way, what? the railroad. Yeah. Of course, she'd have to get a right of way from them, and that'd be. Uh, they won't uh, give it to her. Uh, hopefully, Christ will be here before that would get done. <laughs> and and, and uh, they said, well, the pipeline supporters and be raptured. And they said or not? you uh, you could build a bridge across the trench down there. Yeah, right. Can you, what kind of an answer? They told this man over here they could go under his house. Well, which way are they going to come in here to work on it? If they win. That angle? Down the hill. Off that hill? Right, here. right through here. Right, right, here. right through these trees. I mean, well, my, my, camp, over, my camper's over, right there, so they're going to come right beside me. Well, they'll be on My camper's right there. Well, it's 125 feet. Well, the thing about it is, too, it's not. That building. Yeah. Okay, listen. They're going to be just big and dust and everything. Yeah, they're going to park all the equipment right there above my camp. Okay.
But are they going to come in this way if they do, or come down the, the pipeline? I mean, with their equipment. Uh, they'll come off the road here. They'll yeah. come off the road. Okay, well, there'll be a, there'll be a massive construction zone right here. Well, they're going to park over there. I, I well, Greg Barry the gave them the right to park all their equipment up there. Yeah. 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 He's done it. He probably doesn't. I'm sure. That's I'm sure. There. I'm sure if they uh, build it here, if they, if they get through this, that they still have to sell the bonds. Check. I mean, TV. Um, and we don't really know. Uh, we're furnishing the food. Nobody has to pay anything, but we're asking for donations. The bands are playing free to help us raise money. Um, uh, and we're donating food. If anybody wants, it cannot come and wants to write a check, um, that they, they, you can get a tax exemption for your donation to this. Deduction. 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 Um, You'd write to check out to the Sweet Springs Institute because it's a 501 and all the money is going to go into that pool and then it will go out to the legal agencies. And put on the bottom, on the bottom, water resources. Because the purpose of the Sweet Springs Institute is uh, the preservation of water. So, it all, so if it, it's not on there, they, have, they haven't heard all this information. We just had their meeting yesterday. So uh, there's a little finance committee and we try to figure out who's going to manage the money and, we, and how's it going to work. So Sweet Springs Institute is, like he said, will be the manager of the pool of money for this event. If you want a receipt, uh, you put the uh, uh, water resources on the bottle check and we need some contact information so we can send you a receipt. Well, uh, that'll also be in the paper. Yeah. We'll put that in the newspaper. It'll be in the no watch, it'll be in the hit news. The exactly the way you do it, but face to face is good for you to hear it. So you ask the question here, that's what we're going to do. Okay. One of the things that we want to do, we being the Green Bar River Watershed Association, now how many of you are getting our newsletter, <gasps> our email newsletter? Okay. If you are not getting our email newsletter, please sign up here so we can stay in touch with you. And we we talked to people in, we were in Clover Lick this morning where the Atlantic Coast oh, pipeline is address. going through up there. Oh, the other address. Get to the address. So we talked to them today and Not we want to try to keep the groups in touch with each other and also be in touch with the larger group of people who cares about the pipelines in the state. So if we get your email address, we'll mark it that you were here and then so you'll communicate amongst yourselves here and then we'll also communicate with the Cloverlick people because they're in a very similar situation miles. up there. So we'll just make sure we can get in touch with you and y'all can get in touch with each other. So we really appreciate everybody coming out. One of the things we may want to do with the double crossed idea is to have something like 30. you're talking about, a, a musical 30. event or something next year. Hopefully, That's a celebration of it dying. Hopefully it'll be in celebration of it dying. Be positive. And good job on the for you people. Who was involved in the lawsuit that just won? Maury was. Ashby was. Ashby was. Good job. Thank you all. What I mean, was your lawsuit for? We the, 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 we felt that they didn't do an adequate job of assessing the damage to the water before one and in the storm there's a storm water permit also that they issued it. That wasn't a lawsuit but we challenged them. So we had all the hearings last spring. We've all made comments. A lot of you all made comments. They responded halfway to the comments. They issued the permit. We said we'd like to have a rehearing. They waited two weeks and then put a little blurb in the paper and it basically said, no. <laughs> they didn't give a reason. But no, we're not going to do that. So we thought that was inadequate. So Ashby and myself and some others around Monroe, so Summers County and up in the couple of the northern part of the state worked with the Appalachian Mountain Advocates and five Indian Creek, uh, did the Green Bar, was the Green Bar Watershed part of it? I know Indian Creek Watershed was part of it. We were not. We Sierra we Club. On that train. West Virginia Rivers. West Virginia Rivers a coalition. There was five groups that came, joined in, um, filed a lawsuit. The tombstones out here, that was Mark's idea to put those up. And this man stopped me the other day in Walmart and wanted to know if I was the man that was selling the tombstone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
if, if, I, if I was, he would like to come and see me and order a tombstone. He said, you got all those tombstones. And they're recycled. <laughs> he they were real well and I explained so to him what it was all about, but that genuine. was funny. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe you ought to tell people where the, where the plan is Let's to walk run down this there. thing. Where's so the pipe going? Can, can we draw the pipe in the, in the ground or something? Yeah, that would be really and good. And walk toward the river? Maybe a spray paint. paint. Maybe yeah. a spray oh, paint. Yeah, yeah, who has any paint pipe. Okay, this is I'll have to do it. She's like, no.